السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ان شاء الله تعالى على بسم الله The Maldives is a tropical island nation in the Indian Ocean consisting of 1200 geographically dispersed coral islands Even though the islands are one of the most prestigious travel destinations in the world, Maldives is one of the lowest countries on earth. With a population of about 300,000 distributed throughout the 200 inhabited islands, we have been victims of environmental challenges for a long time. When you look at the development of Maldives, it is very much based on the ecosystem. The 2010 study shows that 89% of GDP depends on biodiversity. And most of our biodiversity is marine ecosystems. And they are at their thresholds from climate change impacts. And so our economy is very much dependent on how we deal with climate change impacts of Maldives. We need to deal with them now. You see, Maldives actually, I would say, we have quite a uniform climate throughout the year. But with the recent global climate change, we too have been experiencing changes in our climate as well. The temperatures are projected to increase, say, it will rise to 1.3 degrees by 2025. And then it, would, it could go up to 3 to 4 degrees by 2080. And looking at the rainfall, we have an increase in rainfall in the northern part, but a decrease of rainfall in the southern part of Maldives by 2025. And then there would be an overall increase in rainfall by 2018 and beyond. And sea surface temperature is following a similar trend, a rise in the uh, sea surface temperature as well. Even our sea levels, it's rising at a rate of 3 millimeters a year. Erosion is one of the main challenges and the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems in the country and we are having a difficult time to mitigate the impacts of erosion. We have always lived with erosion in our islands and it's a part of a natural process. We have one season erosion in one part of the island and aggregation in other side. But now we are facing very severe erosions and island actually losing some big chunks of land. Due to climate change, there's an increase in frequency of storms in the region. Surges from these storms cause flooding in the islands, which destroys the natural sand berms leading to erosion. Without the natural protection, the erosion gets severe day by day. Out of all the inhabited islands, around 85% of the islands are facing erosion problems today. And around 30 to 35 percent experience in severe erosion with uh, property loss and loss of uh, industrial areas and damage to the households. Uh, government have been trying to mitigate it with uh, different types of uh, erosion mitigation protections. The human settlements, industries and vital infrastructure are very close to the shoreline. One of the most critical infrastructure is our international airport, as this is the only gateway to the Maldives. With a height of 1.2 meters, the runway is extremely vulnerable to sea level rise. Emme 
நம்ம வரைக்க கொம்மை தனக்க ஃபும்மாதான் இன்னும் மஜே அவருக்கு சாரி ஃபஸ்ட் மினிட்னு எக்கட்டி அவருக்கு டைவின் ஏப்போ கொள்ளவே டைவரும் பேரும் மீன் டூரிஸ்டும் கோவாகி ஏக்கா மிஹார் ஹோம் சேலஞ்சிங் ஹம் கொம்மஸ் ஆக்சுவலி கோசன் பட் ஐ எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் யூ நோ சம் ஆஃப் தி கொரோஸ் ஆர் டேட் அண்ட் மிக கம்ப்ளைண்ட் என்னங்க ஹம் எம்மே டைவினஸ் நாதே Moldavians uh, by tradition uh, have have uh, developed uh, a system of uh, total reliance on coral reefs and that my point of in my point of view is is uh, uh, very important for our survival so coral reefs uh, are the very uh, existence of the Maldives coral reefs are the very existence of its uh, people as well in addition to providing a natural protection for the islands healthy coral reefs are crucial to sustain our major industries if the current global temperature trend continues there will be a threat to the survival of the coral reefs in the maldives the maldives is so highly vulnerable uh, as well because of the sensitivity of uh, coral reefs for uh, environmental changes especially climate related i'm not denying uh, the fact that there are human induced uh, disturbances as well we have um, evidence to prove that 98% of coral reefs uh, shallow shallow water coral reefs totally died in 1998 as a result of uh, bleaching which is related to um, climate induced um, temperature rises all around the world and most scientists believe that uh, there have been more frequent um, impacts on coral reefs especially with respect to bleaching due to um, a global warming and uh, sea surface temperature rise While our whole country is vulnerable to these climate related impacts basic necessities to sustain life is already a challenge fresh water availability and agriculture is scarce due to limitations of natural resources the only available source of fresh water exists as a thin layer of fresh water aquifer and a rise in sea levels would force salt water intrusion into the fresh water lens where alternative water source is not available people use rain water for drinking and ground water for other domestic uses in many islands the existing rain water storage capacity is limited and during the dry period they have to depend on emergency water supplies climate change induced decline in fresh water is affecting the island communities in the maldives kayo episode ra ho bimu mihar fenkole nage nobu arme ro ga harun do reser bengas dire ga harun do sama ha walun pem pura gen dani nage boy ngone komme ge ge ar ho nobu ven ama gas se dumam be sunu bu hama bara boda pora e wan go de pam bata me ar komme be se fenna bane nobu ven ama e fenna ama bara boda ba ba ge ar our staple food is important since they cannot be grown due to limited land and being an atoll soil environment we are only able to grow horticultural crops recently we have increased our production and communities in the rural areas are becoming more dependent on agriculture distribution of foods to the islands is very risky during rough weather extreme storm events have led to food running scarce in some islands threatening food security During the recent years we have noticed that climate change has an, an impact on the ag- agricultural practices in the Maldives as well. Uh, we often see that there is uh, intrusion of salt water into the farmers field because the islands are small uh, and the water lens is quite high. We have contamination of salt from underneath the field and also sometimes there are salt effects coming right from the ocean into the farms as well. So at this situation the, the farmers has actually lost almost 100% of their uh, crops uh, during the season and also again uh, we are seeing very often that there is high intensity rainfalls which actually flood the whole island that means they also flood the, their fields as well and this is also another occasion where the farmers lose almost all of their crops Apart from that we also see that there is often longer humid and dry periods which uh, is very susceptible for pests and diseases 
uh, sometimes 60% of their farms get destroyed due to these pests. While the natural resources is under threat from climate related impacts, human health is also at great risk and a major concern. Poor sanitation in the islands, combined with an increase in rainfall, will lead to outbreaks of many diseases. Accessing health services during severe weather is also a major concern for rural island communities. Climate change is causing numerous health issues, increasing incidence of vector-borne diseases, outbreaks, aggravating many existing diseases, introducing new pests and pathogens, making climate change a major health concern in Maldives. Dengue fever and the chikungunya continues to be a public health concern due to increasing morbidity and mortality. Dengue fever is endemic in the country since 2004 with seasonal outbreak in 2006, reporting 2,836 cases, and in 2011, reporting 2,909 cases and 12 deaths, the highest recorded in the country. Bihar Masir ka me puri me deti da Bihar badaru ka Embir ka ma hama badal da nam dalii. Then faru faru ke gaata hudu ke Masir baah purve. Fisheries is the second largest economic activity in the Maldives. The industry relies heavily on healthy coral reefs for its sustenance. We talked about um, climate-related sea surface temperature changes and also there are other major weather events such as the El Nino and the La Nina, which, which are, um, are large-scale uh, weather processes uh, that change the circulation of the oceans and also the currents of the oceans. Uh, worldwide. These are very well-known uh, well cyclical patterns which are now affected by climate change and as a result uh, we, we know that tunas um, are highly migratory species and we have done a lot of work on tuna migrations and it is believed uh, the populations of tuna, their movements and their reproductivity and other um, parameters may be strongly influenced by uh, changes um, brought to the overall ocean characteristics as a result of climate change. So we have had very poor um, fishing seasons. With 1.2 million tourists visiting the Maldives annually, tourism is the leading industry in the Maldives, contributing about a third of the GDP. The threats posed by climate change to the beaches, reefs and infrastructure on resort islands is a great concern. People who are coming as international visitors to the Maldives are coming because of our nature, because of the marine environment, the pristine uh, marine uh, resources that we have. And it is our duty to ensure that these resources remain intact. Anything, including the natural impacts of climate change, is going to be detrimental to the economy and detrimental to the tourism sector. If the current scenario of climate change and uh, sea level rise and the other impacts of um, climate change occurs, then we might actually have something like 27 to 33 percent of our revenue from tourism decreased in, let's say, about 2100. The adverse effects of climate change is a threat to our very existence. Due to the limitations of being a small island nation, an impact on any part of our ecosystem affects the whole country. Our islands, our natural systems and even our people are facing these challenges every day. Even though we are learning to live with these challenges, adaptive measures are being taken to reduce further damage to the crucial areas. There are things we can do, you know, there are things we can do with respect to uh, uh, dredging and reclamation, with respect to fishing pressure, uh, with respect to um, our use of coral reefs. We have to stop um, uh, all human, uh, maybe we, we may not be able to stop everything altogether, but we may be able to um, 
manage a lot of activities. A good example is the, the currently uh, set up um, the biosphere reserve in Biotol is a good example. So we need to we need to replicate this in other areas so that we um, we uh, maintain healthy coral reefs, healthy coral reefs which can bounce back uh, when things happen. A lot of people do not uh, know the eff effects of climate change, but slowly that people have been realizing it. Uh, we have one project in Lamato where it is uh, focused on. Uh, climate resilient development. In the beginning of the project, we, the people really did not believe in us, but our, now people have started believing because there's a lot of advocacy, there's a lot of uh, uh, information uh, availability for them to know what is really happening. We have to look at how we could reserve some of the islands and some of these areas to ensure that our future generations are able to see the marine environment as it is. Another aspect is we have to look at how we are going to uh, deal with the emissions and also use of the um, fossil fuel and um, energy use. We will have to adopt definitely alternative renewable energy sources. In order to reduce the use of imported fossil fuel in electricity generation and increase the energy security of the country and to reduce emission of harmful gases, we have come up with an investment plan. Under this investment plan, we will be installing renewable energy technologies at least up to 30% of daytime peak load in all inhabited islands within next three years. What you see behind me is one of the adaptation measures that Maldives has put in place. And that comes with an extremely huge cost. One that the country cannot bear for all the islands, but all the islands deserve protection. The communities deserve this protection. We can say that Maldives has the capacity to adapt, but it needs support of everyone, of partners, of neighbours and of each other. What is needed now is action and action based on facts. And the fact is Maldives is facing this challenge, the challenge of climate change. Maldives is extremely vulnerable to the climate change. We are determined to adapt to the change in climate. We have an ambitious plan to transform our economy to low carbon, climate resilient society. We are here to stay in Maldives. Maldivians have been living in these islands for more than 3,000 years. We have a history. We have a culture, and we even have our own language. Even though we are known to the world as the paradise on earth, we remain no more than just a dot on the globe. We continue to fight for survival, against forces too powerful for us to control, to make sure we have a home. A home for our families, a home for our children to ensure our existence and to make sure there's a future for the generations yet to come.